Well, 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 the girls are back in town. How y'all folks doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. You know I'm your speed king. As always, Sunday evening. Hope everybody had a great, great weekend. As always, do me a big favor. Turn on your closed capture. And of course, if you've never seen one of our videos, you're in for a treat. Not because of me, but because of our classy, classy listeners for sure. Please comment and most of all, subscribe. Ring the bell so you can get notified each and every time. We have a bunch of fun and we, yes ma'am, we make some shackles. Ouch, don't say nothing. We make some shackles. We have a bunch of fun. Hey, the girls are back in town. That's right, the fairground oaks. Everybody's going Kentucky Oaks dreaming. The Phillies are back. The three-year-old is point laden for the Kentucky Oaks. That's what? 100 points, 40 points, 20 points, and 10 points to who? The first four finishers. As always, let's dial in. This won't take long. We talking three-year-old Phillies. And y'all already know. So this here race is the 11th race on Saturday. It's the race right before the Louisiana Derby, right? So you got the Oaks, 11th race, 12th race, the Derby. So you can find yourself a nice double. Maybe it's Asmussen and Asmussen. Give me that for $150. So let's dive into the fairgrounds. Oak, fill the six. For 400,000 going a mile and 16, and on the rail, the number one horse. No, it isn't true. It's Echo Zulu. My, my, my. Echo Zulu 444, the daughter of Gun Runner on the back end by Menifee. No, you didn't just say that she's 444. Not only is she 444, she's making her three year old debut. We haven't seen her since the Breeders' Cup. Juvenile on November 5th. She's bigger, she's faster, she's fresh, and she's ready to fire. I'm telling you, I don't know how they're going to beat her. I mean, I don't know how they're going to beat Echo Zulu. Now, but let me simmer down. Y'all simmer down. Now, Echo Zulu's good now, but she's not Rachel. <laughs> I had to work her in there. Not yet. Okay, you know, there's Rachel Alexandra, and then there's everybody else, including that other girl, Zendaya. But I don't have to tell y'all, Echo Zulu, this horse they paid 300000 for. And of course, you understand that it's a gun runner, uh, Philly, Asmussen, you got Rosario, you got the speed, you got making a three-year-old debut. Okay, again, unsighted for 141 days. As a two-year-old, she was four for four, right? Never been headed, reminding me of Ruffian. Nobody's never headed Ruffian. Now, how much more then is Echo Zulu better as a three-year-old? Some four months, five months later. I don't know about the Kentucky Oaks. This one's over. They should be pointing this one, maybe to the Kentucky Derby. That's what I said. This is a very, very nice hill. Need no introduction. This should be a smackdown, beat down for fun. She should be unbettable. She should be one to nine. You shouldn't be allowed to make a wager on her to make because she should be one to nine. They can't beat this horse. Echo Zulu, luck. Let's run through the field. I'm not saying no more about Echo Zulu. Rachel, be careful. Move over, Rachel. The number two horse, Turner Loose. Well, you know, I'm not mad at you. I mean, Turner Loose is a Brad Cox Mary horse, right by Nitrish, right? They're a derby winner, right? Five stars, three wins. You, you can't shake a stick. They only paid 50000 for her. But you know what? She's won three or five, and her speed figures are horrible. Horrible. She shouldn't be on the same racetrack with Echo Zulu. Out. I'm throwing her out for sure. Who? The number two horse. Turn her loose. The number three horse, well, favor. Well, th uh, two wins from three starts. Todd Pletcher, the man in the classy, classy suit. Speed figures coming out of an allowance race. This horse is by one of my favorite sire, uh, Pioneer of the Nile. Unless she sprout wings and jump that I couldn't predict, then favor, you can throw her out just as quick as you can turn her loose. They can't run with this horse. How do you run with it? Throw the number three off the ticket. 
I love this name, Berna Breezy. Well, Miss Breezy has done her thing. She beat Sequel, the number five horse in here. And she has two wins from four starts. And his Shever is out trading with crafty Jimmy Graham. Well, Mr. Graham, you're going to have to take this Bernardini filly and do some magic if you're crafty because Berna Breezy shouldn't be in the same vicinity as Echo Zulu. She, I got her eight limbs slower out of my database. Throw to number four, Bernard Breezy, Bernard Breezy out. Sequence, well, his horse is probably the worst in the bunch, if you ask me. I, I don't know, remember nobody asking me. A horse has one win from five start sequence, trained by Dallas Stewart, and that's only a maiden race. Let's throw the number five off the ticket. Hidden connections, well, I mean, again, Turner Loose beat her last time in the uh, Rachel Alexander Stakes, grade two. Right back there, right? Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Beat her real good in the Rachel Alexander, right? And uh, she went to the front, turned her loose, turned the corner, Brad Cox horse and ran by her. her. If I don't like turn her loose, how can I like Hidden Connection? So, there's your field of six. This is a wrap, right? We all will agree with that and that she's unbettable. Our best bet here would have to be a double back into the derby. Right? Into the fairground third, into the Louisiana Derby, right? I think the doubles want to be Asmussen, Asmussen. Echo Zulu in the Oaks. Back to Epic Center in the Derby. Game, set, match. That's what it looks like to me in the fairgrounds, Oaks. I took too long this time, right? They should think about taking this filly to the Derby for sure. That's what we think it is, folks. We think it's an Asmussen double. That's right. Fairgrounds, back to the Louisiana Derby to Epic Center. You can punch that as many times as you like, in my opinion. As always, folks, to me, it's a wrap. It looks like a double. Looks like a one. Six. Epic Center is the six horse. Right? Looks like a one six to me. Play it for 200. Take the $6 to $5 and make yourself a few bucks. As always, stay classy. Echo Zulu, unbeatable. 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 That's all I'm saying. There it is, folks. Having a bunch of fun. I'm wearing the pink because the girls are back in town. As always, I didn't pick a second horse or a third horse. I have no idea who's going to run second or third. It's just going to be poetry in motion. I'm going to see my girl get to the front and do some work on them, right? Like Rachel used to do. Echo Zulu is a tremendous talent, y'all, by that one and only gun runner who I believe should have won the Derby as worthless curling. As always, folks, stay classy. Down in the description, you will see our disclaimer. And once again, have a great and safe work week. We like a double. Oaks to the double to the derby at Fairgrounds. 1-6. Asmussen, Asmussen. Punch it as many times as you like. You heard it here first. Stay classy, y'all.